and welcome back to a very gloomy day on our hardcore world season 2 episode 24 now this is actually a re-record if you've been on my discord you kind of already know the story as to why this video will be a day late I had some serious audio issues I couldn't figure it out for the life of me but luckily my mother being also a youtuber helped me figure it out turns out I didn't update one of my drivers fun but, now that we are back, I will be addressing what I did in that video, and probably doing some more stuff in this video. Hi, Wolf. Now, first of all, you'll notice there are no chests, crafting table, or bed here anymore. There's also none over in by my bridge. There's no bed and stuff over there. There's no crafting table and stuff over there. I took all of it out. Essentially, all I did last episode was clean some stuff up and do some, like, touches on some things. Like this tree, I helped fill it in a bit more so it hugs the building. I got my iron golems out of here. I actually explain why I take a block out of this. Uh, they couldn't get out because it was down this low. They were too tall to get out that way, so I bumped it up one in case they do get stuck down here or spawn down here. They can still get out on their own. Also, in that video, I had a very infuriating time with a villager. In that video, I addressed that I had made another farmer villager. Here he is, the culprit. It took me, I want to say, 20-30 minutes just to get him out here. You'll notice that his prices are up because I punched him. He is the first villager I went out of my way and actually punched. This guy got out of his spot and went back in no issues. This guy would not go into the spot. He just, he wouldn't. Nothing I did he, would he go in there. He's in here now. He's now in a safe spot. Against my better judgment, he's there. But also, all of the iron golems are now off the leads. So you'll see there's no iron golem here anymore. They're kind of just out wandering around. Oh, hello. Do I have iron on me? I do not. But there's now a whole bunch of iron golems kind of all over the place now. And I also did some more of this area over here. Hold on. Let, let's take a nap in the open rain. Hi, Wolf. Okay. Hopefully that get. Where did Wall disappear to? Okay, he gave me a feather. But I also filled in this area over here. It's just a bit more space. There is now a, an enderman down there. But it's just a bit more space. I'm working on completely filling this area in. It's getting there. Just give it some time. And I also removed this. Instead of it being this building over here, I'm planning on basically copying a similar thing to this, but on this side. So it's like an open market area. There's going to be armor stands with random bits of armor. There's going to be some weapons just lying around. Things of that nature. Just kind of like an open air shop over here. After I figure out where exactly this wall is going to sit. And also, I addressed that in here, I know I said in between episodes I would do this. I have now done it. It's basically a cleared space for me to put just some random villagers. If I ain't got space for them in one area, I'm going to shove them down there. And how did you get here, sir? As long as you're having fun, I don't care. But that's pretty much all I did. I ran around, cleaned up random stuff. Picked stuff up, got all my iron golems off of leads, and such. I also got rid of the barrel that was right here for the tree. I think it's kind of just a joke at this point that the tree's not done. But it's there. Now, what am I going to do in this episode to make up for the fact that I... kind of missed an episode? Why? Why is that there? It's not there anymore. Hello? Okay, it fixed. I was like, what on earth is going on here? Why is this like that? Hold on. Let me fix my map real quick. There we go. 
But now we've gotten rid of that little building over there. I've solidified this path. I've kind of finished out some of the pathing. Now it's time for me to get some other things done. The question is, what do I have the material to do? Let me real quick go through a few of my barrels and things and see what I got. One thing I should definitely be doing real quick. I know I'm going to end up just taking the chest out of here. But one thing I really have to do is go over here and harvest my trees. Because they're all basically grown. And I haven't yet done anything with them. I also did release an iron golem over there. So I want to see if he's even still alive. Also, you're still on a lead over here. Let me take you off of this. Because you don't need to be on that anymore. There we go. Where is he? Is he dead? I just released an iron golem up there towards the front. I guess... Oh, no, he's not dead. He's very close to it, though. I'll bring you back closer to the bridge. Let's try not to get you completely killed. Come on, big guy. This guy I'm going to keep on the lead because if I don't, he's going to end up running into here and getting himself killed. But I think I'm going to put at the beginning of each one of these just a double chest for me to store all the wood type in. Because if I don't, I'm going to end up filling up my entire inventory with it. Okay. And with that, I will be back after either my axe is about to break or I've harvested all the trees. We'll see. Okay, now I'm kind of just waiting on the spruce trees to finish decaying. There's like only like one or two logs left up there. This is the spruce. This is the oak. I think dark oak and spruce were the ones I get the most out of. The birch is mainly going to be used for sticks to repair my axe. Because you can see down there, it's kind of on low health. I won't say it's actually on low health, it's more half. But it's lower than I like to see it. So I think I'm going to try to grab as much of this as possible and take it back with me. Alrighty. Now everything's back in. I don't have quite as much birch and oak as I would like, but honestly, birch just gets used to make sticks anyway. And now I'm going to actually take some of my birch and I'm actually going to make sticks out of it so that I can get some levels to fix my axe. It's probably going to be an entire inventory full of sticks. Well, that was about right. Oh, good heavens. Hi, sir. Enjoying my house, are we? Waiting on them to replenish their stuff. Okay, I am actually at 30 levels, completely fixed my axe, and I have a profit of 15 emeralds. That was after me running around for a while and just trying to figure out what exactly I could sell. I was also working on... I don't want any of this just supposed to stew in my inventory. But uh, I was working on upgrading one of my villagers. Because the farmer villager that was giving me headaches. Uh, he was needing to be upgraded. All the way up. And I hadn't quite done it yet. I have more golden carrots than I think anybody ever would need. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eat that cod just to get it out of my inventory. I also have a whole bunch of bows that I don't need. Is there any space? I don't think there's any space left back here. I think I need to replace that piece right there with another barrel. So I have a bit of extra space. Okay. Alrighty. Now I know this video won't be a long one. I was addressing it Kind of in the last video, where the audio wasn't working. But it's been a hot minute since I've actually been in this world. I wanted to spend this episode kind of chilling out, refiguring out kind of where I was in this world so I could refocus on what I wanted to do next. I know one thing- Wall, do you need a door open? 
Is that your issue? Come on inside. Okay, you can sit by the door. But I was kind of wanting to refocus and refine what I was doing. I know in the next video, the next Minecraft video, I want to figure out a way for me to find another fortress. Which is going to take me going through the nether again. And this time I want to settle in for a very big exploration of the nether. Either I'm going to go through the nether and go as far as I can, or I'm going to look kind of in the direction I need to go and walk that way in the overworld and build a whole nother portal. I don't quite know yet. But I do know next episode I want to buckle down and find a nether fortress because that's kind of like the blockade I'm at. I need blaze rods in order to make ender pearls. I have a warped forest right on the other side of my nether portal. I just need the ability to make the ender pearls. So with that, that is going to be all for me today. I hope you enjoyed and goodbye.